Hello, everybody. Now it's a uh, holiday season. Uh, it's uh, the most happiness thing is uh, to prepare the gift for your friends or your people you love. Um, so you don't wanna, you know, when the people open the box, they see their uh, the item in not good condition. Um, the basic thing is you wanna have a good wrap. Uh, today's video, I gotta show you how to use a bubble wrapper uh, to. Uh, uh, wrap the, the gift and prepare in the box. So the first thing you will see, the bubble wrapper has two sides. So one side is a bubble and the other side is a flat. Um, so the, the, the general rule is you want to use, you want to uh, keep the bubble in good condition because this is a buffer layer. So you don't want this exposed to anything sharp or Anything you know can make a bubble or break. Um, so the first thing, um, what I would do is I keep the bubble inside and I have the flat side facing outside, and then put at the bottom of the box. So in order to uh, protect your uh, present, and then um, so this is my product. Uh, it's a steamer. Um, then I wrap it. A wrap also use the bubble inside um, and then wrap it. So you wrap carefully, have all the um, you know the product have been wrapped in the in the bubble wrapper and put in the box. Um, and then the next rule is you don't want to leave any uh, free space. Uh, that means um, you don't want the item be moving in the box when people carrying or even just uh, throwing into the truck. Um, so you want to uh, keep all the items kind of fixed in the box uh, during the shipping until the people, they open the box. Um, so the second rule is you want to keep the item uh, fixed in the box and leave uh, as small space, free space as possible. Um, so I'm going to um, do the uh, wrapping uh, in my, um, I'm going to wrap the product in my box and then I will show you uh, what it will look like after I finish. Okay, so now I have uh, all the stuff in, in the box um, before I close it. Um, I also do extra uh, protection on the side. Um, so I already said that there are um, uh, two rules. Uh, the first rule, so protect your bubble. Uh, so keep the bubble inside. Um, and second rule is uh, you wrap uh, each product carefully and without expose anything. Um, and then the third rule is, is about you know, you, you don't want to leave any uh, free space. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I said the no free space as the second rule. So that's why I put the bubble on the side, on the both sides. So on the both sides, um, so have an actual cushion uh, for, the, for the product, for the gift. Um, now, so I can put the, uh, the bags in there and also the instruction um, now almost done but uh, don't forget uh, leave no space um, so that's why I have another uh, layer on the top um, so just in case so so there's uh, no space for the uh, your gift to be moved in the box during the shipping and then you can see So the easy way to test it you, you shake it and you can feel it's a very solid and Then you can tape it and you're ready to go Hey, um, so today I show you uh, how to use a, uh, the bubble wrap uh, to protect your gift uh, there are three uh, rules the first rule uh, protect the bubble, so have the bubble inside rather than outside. Um, second rule, um, so leave no space, uh, leave or leave as less space as possible. So keep the items fixed on no move uh, during the shipping. Uh, the third rule, just uh, 
wrap uh, all the, all the surface of the gift uh, with no exposure. Um, so I think by following the three rules, you'll be good to have uh, sh shipping. Um, okay, yes, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, uh, have a good holiday.